guys hey it's me Zell, and we're here with another reaction video we're gonna start with the what if series by marvel basically my understanding is exploring the what if this happens uh the first episode they released was what if captain carter were the first avenger and not captain america so it'll be peggy carter taking up the mantle the shield and being our first avenger so that'll be pretty interesting to see. I uh, caught myself up a little bit by watching Legends. If you're a Disney Plus subscriber, you'll have access to that. It basically gives you little short briefs on these legendary uh, characters or items. And there's one with Peggy Carter on there. So, and then of course, other folks that are involved in like Loki, WandaVision, Falcon, Winter Soldier, etc. So check it out if you're interested. They're just quick little blurbs and I find them a good little brief catch up. So uh, yeah, I, I have never seen the Peggy Carter show, show or Agent Carter. So, uh, but my understanding is that it's not considered canon any longer or ever was. So this, I don't obviously believe that this is canon, but maybe because obviously the comics mess with alter dimensions, realities. Otherwise, this is just fun. I'm not looking into it seriously. It's a really fun concept to explore. And again, why not? Um, the comics certainly do and they have fun with it. And there's no rules to a point when it comes to fantasy, this creation in our minds, right? Anything goes. <laughs> so let's explore today in the episode where Agent Carter is the first Avenger. Cool. Uh possibility already starting with that uh, endless possibilities Where a single choice can branch out in creating alternate worlds from the ones you know this narrator is cool i am the watcher i didn't oh. catch two voices this but and what if create a new kind of soldier a there he is soldier. skinny kid from brooklyn became captain america but in another universe a single choice created a whole new hero. The art style is cool. Wouldn't you be more comfortable in the booth? No, I'd prefer to stay. That's the moment that created a new universe. Oh no! Oh my gosh! Eyes on me. Focus on Rogers, me. Rogers, get in there. He caught. Stark, you go in. What? Are you get crazy? Ready. Agent Carter. What are you doing? Oh, okay. It's um, it's ridiculous that she do it, but Stark can. Agent Carter, this is our only chance. Stark, don't do this. Do it, Stark. <sighs> I mean, she's in peak health. See it. Buff girl. Wow. I'd call this an absolute success. What an absolute failure. $60 million and all the hope in the world down the drain. I was promised an army. Instead, I get a girl. I understand this oh is my not God. a desired outcome. If we get lucky, someday your blood might tell us how to make a real super soldier. You have a super soldier. Women aren't soldiers. You might break a nail. Ooh, go break his nails. Yeah, you show him, Peggy. Nice left. Uh, could be worse. Flynn could stick you on one of those USO tours. Wear a crazy costume. Being told to smile ten times a he day. Wouldn't. He couldn't. Could he? Oh. Little okay. Steve. I'm sorry. You were meant to be the one to end the war. Now you will. And don't worry about me. I never was much of a dancer anyway. Oh, Steve. Maybe you haven't found the right partner. Oh, so sweet. There's Hydra. Tesseract the was the jewel of Odin's treasure room. Oh. Able to hold the power to rewrite the very laws of physics. Oh. The greatest minds alive. And Stark is one of them. This doesn't concern you. You're lucky to be in the room. Colonel, the greatest minds alive can. Stubborn, stubborn. What's this? It was supposed to be your USO. Let's go sell some war bonds, cops. This is going to be awkward. The British flag. I just realized that. <laughs> oh. Look at her go. Look 
how ballsy she is. That was brilliant. She just tried it, not sure, sure what would happen. Awesome. Uh-oh. The allies must be descending in a fragile Fraulein to fight for it. Fraulein. <laughs> fragile not. Ready to join the war effort, Steve? No. Said the 107th hit. In I owe you one. You owe me more than that. They're both so sweet. You owe me a dance. Big woman, little man. Hi. You mind if I have a go? <laughs> Since when did dames fight like that? Since today. Who are you supposed to be? Queen oh. of England? The name's Captain Carter. Captain Carter. <clears throat> Whoa, okay. That was awesome. We didn't see that in the movie, did we? The first Iron Man suit? Oh my gosh. Aww. Whoa. They're so happy during all this destruction. <laughs> You can't even drive a car. So a dame and a flying <laughs> Buick. Okay. Especially me, Mr. President. I've always said no helmet for her. Real uh huh. Sure he did. Cute. Okay. Oh my gosh. She's got a little handlebar. Oh my gosh. Whoa. She's just so confident. It's awesome. The God does not answer to a man. You lost the Tesseract, and now you play with metal trinkets. Soon, the true champion of Hydra shall be summoned from beyond the stars. Uh oh. oh dear. Third Reich will fall, and Hydra will rise from its ashes. It terrifies me every time I see his face. Wow, well, you've always been a fighter. In a way, the outside finally matches the inside. I'm no longer screaming to be heard, to be seen, to be in the room. To be respected. I'm still that skinny kid from Brooklyn. Now just in a big metal suit. There's nothing without the man inside. You're my <coughs> hero, Steve. Aww. <laughs> it just goes to show she You're loves him no matter too. what. She loves his heart. No, you continue. Just pretend I'm not here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> about this smells as fresh as three day old fish. Or maybe you're just afraid of trains. Dad. Thanks. You almost ripped my arm off. Oh my gosh. Peggy, go! Get out of Please be okay. Steve! He's not going to turn into Winter Soldier, is he? Hydra Stomper was indestructible. My name is Steve Rogers, not the Hydra Stomper. And we've lost. She should never have been in the field in the first place. I will tell you not. He told me everything. According to our German guest, <laughs> Red Skull. I'm in. For Steve. Yes. Let's do it. For Rogers. I'm not a. You know. Come on. You might need someone to push a button. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh. Awesome. What a creep. He's alive. Uh oh. Uh oh. What the bloody hell? I have summoned the champion of. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Drop generator should give the suit enough power. Yeah, but for how long? Long enough. Maybe. Oh my gosh. You okay? Yep. Oh my gosh. That idiot was not thinking. His tentacles appear to be growing. And everything's in German. Great. Well, figure it out. 
A sword and shield. Cool. Oh no. Look at choppy chop. Did you miss me? Hold you, it was indestructible. <laughs> oh. oh no, oh no. We need the Tesseract. I can end this. You owe me a dance lesson. Saturday night. Wow. Wow. You sure? Please, put down the sword. That's Captain Carter. Where's Steve Rogers? The war ended almost 70 years ago. Mm. You're going to be okay. Her one choice gave birth to a whole new history and gave the multiverse a new hero mm. for me. These are my stories. For I am the Watcher. Is this the same guy from the Loki stuff? Anyways, uh, very cool. Uh, animation style is very slick, very cool looking. I'm a fan of it. Just very visually appealing. The story they did, uh, very plausible and um, good. Didn't feel forced and I just, it kind of emphasizes and it's so sweet after watching the Peggy Carter um, Legends episode. It makes you think, do you think she would still care about him if he wasn't all beefed and hulked up on his, uh, the serum? But I mean, this goes to show like she loves who he is, his spirit and his his caring, his kindness, um, just he has the heart of a hero. You know, he they, and then you see like that makeshift. That was just cool seeing Stark's first Iron Man suit. His dad made one, right? And he made like that uh, allowing Steve to be able to participate and fight in the war alongside Peggy and big man in a suit of armor. Take that off. What are you? Really, really cool overall. I, I was really pleased with how the what direction they took. And I really liked, obviously, like, it kind of goes along uh, watching the Sharon Carter thing, what the mom, what Peggy was saying, she quoted her saying like, just plant yourself like a tree. Like if people ask you to leave, if people try to get in your way, just stay there. And she kind of did this here. Like, you know, she continually had to fight for herself in the beginning, especially against the commander, Lieutenant Sir guy and she proved she proved them wrong and and she's just getting the respect that she deserves so i it was really good episode i want i'm curious it didn't just show the show like in the 40s you know having a dame a woman fight and constantly just showing people up what she's capable of that was great and then obviously the fun twist of it being um captain britain or whatever <laughs> with the uniform and shield but yeah I, it was a lot of fun i'm excited to see where where else they're gonna take this direction i know we're gonna see some black panther stuff we're gonna see some doctor strange stuff overall very exciting so yeah if uh you enjoyed this reaction review feel free to show that support with a thumbs up like in the video if there's anything in this show for you comic book readers or people who know more about this that actually ties in with something or is this like completely unique and a different path they took i'm curious let me know otherwise if you're curious to see more there's going to be from what i understood nine episodes in total there was going to be 10 but covid they didn't finish the last episode they're going to roll it over to the season, second season so my understanding is nine episodes we'll have eight more we're going to watch so hit that subscribe button if you're interested in seeing more of my reactions otherwise thanks so much for watching guys thanks so much for supporting and i'll see you on